Now, Storm Team 2 meteorologist Cameron Saliga with the Miami Valley's certified most accurate forecast. Yeah, the, some of the worst setups there uh, as they did have that hurricane really pushing all those winds there uh, with that fire. So uh, as we go through the next days here, though, we will be seeing the uh, clouds and chances of showers in the Miami Valley outside right now in the Jeff Schmidt Auto Group camera. You see over Xenia on 35. It's uh, starting to get cloudy there as we have higher clouds then uh, and or more clouds as we went through the daytime. Those higher clouds really started to fill on in here as uh, those storms from the west are moving eastward now. And over the next 12 hours, those temperatures will drop down into the 60s here as we go through the morning hours. But the good news is uh, if you are looking for the warmth overnight and uh, and uh, it will be there because we have those temperatures only dropping down to the 60s in the upper 60s as we do have a warm front pushing on through. 86 was your high today, just above the average for this time of year and 62 for that low. No rainfall, lots of sunshine in the morning, then the clouds here as we get into the 6 o'clock hour. Highs tomorrow going to be cooler up to the north, feeling more like a uh, late spring day or even early into the fall with those temps in the mid 70s. But down south, that's where we could hit the 80s into Dayton, but for the most part, staying in the 70s all day long. Live Doppler 2 HD, we are staying dry here in the Miami Valley, but you do see that rain continuing to move eastward here from Indiana, and that is uh, our next system that we will be seeing into your Monday. We see that uh, system forming off to the west, the rain and the clouds starting to make their way into eastern portions of Indiana, and eventually those clouds will take over here into the western half of the state. Now, as we look at temperatures, they're into the mid 80s, still at 83 degrees, 12 mile per hour winds. The big difference, though, from yesterday, those dew points up to 70 yesterday, but today right around 59 degrees here as we head into the evening. Temperatures up north right around 80, 81 degrees, but right around the uh, 85 degree range as you go to the southern counties. And we even do have a marginal risk tomorrow for severe weather as we go in the evening hours. The morning we'll see rain, but uh, pauses of the day in the afternoon will give way to chances of some th strong thunderstorms possible there into the evening hours. Damaging winds would be the main threat. We can't rule out an isolated tornado, though, but uh, for the most part, staying with the damaging winds as that main threat. We're going to track this out here now. We see the cloudy skies through the nighttime 1 a.m. You see those uh, cloudy skies. And eventually we'll see a chance of rain as we go late into the nighttime, but uh, likely as we go into the day tomorrow, we'll see cloudy skies, chances of showers as we go in the midday, but even a chance of some clearing as we go later into the afternoon. And then we start to see some more storms firing off getting into those evening hours. That could bring us that chance for some severe weather here, but it would be more isolated than anything in nature. And then eventually moving out as we go to your Tuesday, the system starts to push on out, but we still do have in the middle of the daytime a chance of a light shower here in the Miami Valley. Rain forecast. This is the uh, North American model. Actually, this is the NAM. As uh, we go into the uh, day tomorrow and into your Tuesday, we're expecting around half an inch for most of us, but some areas could see locally heavier amounts, upwards of an inch, possibly even a little bit more. But uh, we are going to be seeing uh, widespread rainfall heading into the work week. 67 year low tonight with those showers possible late. 80 tomorrow, showers in the morning, then the uh, later portions of the day. That's where we see the thunderstorm chances, cloudy skies, and winds up to 10 miles per hour. Over the next seven days, less humid as we go to your Tuesday and Wednesday, and dry weather is here as we go through the next seven days. Temperatures, though, look to get up into the 90s by next weekend. Riley?